Hello, Scorpio. No, not Scorpio. Sagittarius, my bad. Sagittarius and Cross Rogers, because I just did Scorpio. This is your mid February to March reading of this current year. This is for Sagittarius in the signs of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, you boop your nose. Away it goes. No point worrying about shit. They got nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your damn business unless you know Z and you like to gossip, and that's why we're all here. Sagittarius, I feel like you got somebody who I think you really, really care about, or they care about you, and I feel like they're the one that got away, but I also feel like they're kind of a douchebag, too. Maybe not a big one, but they got the energy of a douchebag, right? Or it could be you and the person you're dealing with, whatever or. Anyway, so, we got your energy, that you, Queen of Wands, look at all pretty and perfect to be like, I am the angel of awesomeness, and I just want to have a good fucking time, right? But we got the Emperor down here reversed, and he's all his power, he's probably covered in other people's blood. Not because he was at battle or anything, but just because, just because, it's just like, I'm bored, and I'm an Aries, you know. And he's decided, despite his emotion, he wants to walk away from shit, right? We got the sun up here with Leo, so it's pretty much like all fire signs up here, who is a want and wish, but they're burdened, or you feel burdened by them, and it's not ending anytime soon. Down below the obstacle and challenge is realizing that some of the options that are out there are probably not options at all. Maybe you feel like between this Aries and this Leo, you don't have a choice in anything. They're right there presented to you, but it's like almost a restriction. You know, like it's the Seven of Cups reversed and upright. There's potential here, but it feels like this potential is either restricted, held back, or just, it's just an illusion. Could be either or. We haven't really seen yet, right? Here in the Fears and Rejections, we have the Justice card. It's reversed, but it's Libra's card. That totally looks like how a Libra would act, too. <laughs> But she's reversed, so it's like maybe there's some bad qualities or something completely unfair in this situation. Of somebody getting exactly what it is that they want with this wish fulfillment. They're afraid of the injustice with this wish fulfillment. How shit starts, I'll end. Devil reverse. Now, the devil card reverse, it's like someone was influencing somebody else to go off of a cliff. But somehow, that all stopped, that ended, and that's by the separation. However, someone doesn't feel as though, with this full reverse card, that they're fitting the image of a victor, if you will, right? Right, now, let's see. I explained that all in, like, two minutes. Look at me go. It's probably because I wasn't rambling like an asshole. Good deal. Alright, so, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and figure all of this out. You feel like the Queen of Wands and you want to have a good time and your vibe and energy, right? You're ready to just go to sleep and just float anywhere the river takes you. You're just like, you know, fuck it, we're just going wherever. Uh, that wherever might take you to new people will even party with, too. Like, you already partied with the older people, now you get to party with fish people. They're like, yeah. Seems like everything's going swimmingly, though. No pun intended. However, down the situation below, we have the Emperor Reverse with the Eight of Cups. He's covering other people's blood and he's ready to leave despite his feelings. He might be talking some shit. He might be like swooning, yeah, or somebody else, you know, with his Emperor like power or pretending to be a decent person. Hmm. So, like, I don't trust this emperor, and I don't even feel like this is you. It's like this person knows how to play the right words to come up as upright, but in reality, they're reversed and ready to go. Despite their feelings, despite what they put into the investment. Hmm. Wants and wishes. This sun card could be Leo. He might be playing Blue's Clues and might be overburdened by shit. This is a want and a wish. That's uh, three, but I'll give it to you. It's like there's an offer here with commitment or some sort of wisdom with the Hierophant. Could be with a Taurus. And a need for recovery.
Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what that means, Sagittarius. Like, you could be happy, but you're overburdened. It's like, are you waiting for something in order to help you start recovering your energy again? Down in the obstacles and challenges below. Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups reverse. Double energy, but it seems like it's an illusion of sorts. Another three, but I'll give it to you. It's almost like to avoid a tower, there has to be a new heartfelt beginning. Because this pairing just does not seem to work as well as it used to. Like, the bitch has got her legs under his butt so he can't leave, but she's got halitosis so her breath is making him pass out every two minutes. She might bob her head back a little bit so he can get some actual oxygen, but other than that, no, she's just in this dude's face. And it's just, it's smothering almost. So let's see, Justice card reverse with the Nine of Cups. Some injustice with this wish fulfillment, right? It's a fear. Might have to cut that shit off, sad and cross watchers, or this person's doing this with you. Uh, cause none of the games work, another fire sign. Like you could be dealing with another fire sign. Feel like it needs to be cut off because like nothing's working in your game. Like this dude is not trying to get in your pants right now. If he was, the knight would be upright. But since he is, you know, it, you know, if you're not gonna like perform for me in order to catch my fancy and make me think that you're worth the time and effort, you know, like the rest of the male species does in the in the animal kingdom, like what the fuck? Like what's the point? Like I I could do good by myself if you're not gonna put any effort in. Um, why should I keep you? I feel like is the thing. Either that or like they could be doing that to you because they feel like there's no potential in this situation whatsoever. But I really feel like Sagittarius, you're just in that energy of just like, what the fuck am, are you here for? Like, I could clown myself. I don't need you to do it if you don't like me in the most cutest, sincerest form, you know? How shit starts, how it'll end. The devil reversed with the two cups. It's like you guys aren't even good for each other anyway, you know? It just leads to all the confusion with the seven of cups once again. And people getting caught in sneaky notions while acting like, you know, they're wonderful and graceful and shit. Probably doing that back behind your back. Um, ignoring intuition about having to make a decision about the two of you, right? Oh, I can't wait to go back to bed. I'm so tired. Ugh. Let's see. What's up with this end thing right here? Yeah, it's just like conflict. It's gotta end because there's just foxes everywhere and we don't know what the fuck we're How did you end up with this many foxes anyway? You know. Um, like, the conflict isn't gonna end without a decision being made. All the mass confusion, all the hysteria. Uh, the yip, 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 of the freaking foxes. It's sounding like babies laughing. Because they literally do sound like babies cackling and shit. It's kind of cute. And eerie at the same time. But there's a lot of noises. some reason I'm getting stuff about the keto diet on my phone. I don't know. Like, I didn't sign up for keto. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lack of union here. We're coming together with people. And that's what's got you possibly feeling like, you know, you're not starting something new. Or you're unable to. It's got you feeling like there's a lack of confidence because things aren't working out in this particular situation, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. So let's clarify the energy, wanting to float off and be at peace, right? It's time to let some shit go, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. That might be what you're doing. Ew. You're getting set up? Either let it go or be set up. Or does it feel like letting it go is setting yourself up for failure? Because that could be a thing, too. 
the situation right here with this person pretending to be someone they are not. Yeah, they're not going to communicate dick to you, and they're not going to try to help fix the situation either. Oh, and they're a double douchebag. There's the king of swords. I didn't know if he was going to come out or not. But yeah, it's like this person's doing it on purpose. They got the bird in her mouth, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like they won't confess shit. They'll shove the bird in her mouth in order to avoid it. They'll eat a bucket of KFC right in front of you if it means they don't have to talk to you about the situation. Which I will say is ignorant and very gluttonous, and I would be very jealous because I don't have any KFC chicken. Like, that'd be good right now, but that shit's expensive. Oh my goodness. Wants and wishes an offer to help them make a wise choice in order to recover, I feel like, with the sun, right? Maybe you? Yeah, you want to recover. You want to fix yourself, heal yourself, all of that shit, right? Because you're not very fucking happy in this situation with this emperor, that's for damn sure. You're still kind of hung up on it because it feels like you're getting set up, but I feel like you're setting yourself up, too. Like, maybe too enthusiastic about a situation that's shown its ass to, your, to you before you realized it. Obstacles and challenges, right? You need to bury this shit because it'll be more work to fix it than what it's worth. But it's like, you feels like you can't bury it because, like, you've already invested so much into this. But now it's like getting infested. It's growing old. Like walls are cracking. Like, like this is a muddy pit house. Go to a better house. You know? Fears and rejections. Ah, that's too much. No, no, no. Queen of Swords with the Knight of Wands reverse. Having to cut it out because, like, you know, shit be wacky. Yo, they aren't even trying. They aren't even trying. It's all set up that way anyway. It feels like the person just wants to blow you off. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're trying to manipulate things to where, like, it doesn't work out in the best situation. Like, they're kind of doing it on purpose. I feel like they don't want to work on it. Even though they're still emotionally attached, very much so. Um... But the fact that they aren't putting any effort in, or this could be you, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher, not putting any effort in, is like, what sabotage you need to ordeal? Like, everything would be set up, everything would be perfect, but it's like... No. Like, it, it, it's like, if it's, not, if, it, if it's not perfect for me, why should I stick around? Oh my... Such words of encouragement coming from such a position of, like, pain and confusion, I must say. How this shit starts to end, like, all of this is going to keep continuing until, like, someone comes with a decision to do something, but nobody's coming to this decision, or someone's trying to ignore that idea. Keep making excuses for it, for sure. Yeah. Because I want to be as gentle as possible before cutting it out. Like, bro, quit being nice. Fuck it. Like, what? Do you love them? Do you? Because, you know, you can love someone from a distance. You know, just because you love somebody doesn't mean that they have to be in your life. After all, we're all just the same thing, experience it from different perspectives. It's not metal in that which is beyond our own control, you know? But, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers, this was your reading, right? So if you did enjoy this, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for watching the shit. Uh, I love your guys' faces. Yeah, I do. I will see you later and you have a good day. Bye-bye.